Hi, welcome to part number four of my series on Visio. Um, one thing that we find when we're working away with Visio is we may have some shapes that we don't have the right symbols for. Um, so we may want to represent them differently than our standard shapes. Um, that's fine. I'm going to show you how to edit them. Uh, what I'd suggest is that always if you're using symbols that are not part of the standard uh, symbol library, that you should include them in a legend so that the reader for sure knows what you're what you're describing. Okay, um, so we're going to look at a few shapes that are in um, our heating system that uh, maybe we want to create uh, a custom-ish symbol for. Okay, so the first uh, shape we have some valves that look like this one. We have this Y-bodied um, globe valve. Uh, we have a few of those in our system uh, or similar shapes. Okay, and if we go to our list, um, what we find is that we don't really have anything that represents exactly this valve. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a symbol and I'm going to uh, edit it so that it looks about right. Okay. So um, I'm going to start with a globe valve and I'm going to add that to my. Um, my process line and I'm going to just zoom in on it and I may make it bigger for our sake here. Okay, um, What's missing would be maybe if I included the handle to show that it was uh, off on an angle and um, easiest way to do that is just to use your drawing tools. So I'm going to use my line and I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to draw another line and good enough probably and you could play with that a bit if you wanted to so you could kind of move it into into position uh, sure and we can move this guy into position sure looks good okay so then what we want to do to make sure that uh, if I do move this symbol um, it all stays together is I want to select everything right click on it and I want to add it to a group. So now I have a symbol that uh, I can move around. So let's look at a next symbol. So I have a pressure reducing valve and I do have a pressure reducing valve in my list of valves. Once again it's a little small so I'll make them a little larger. Um, although the valve is uh, a little bit, um, I guess, difficult. The symbol that it, that we have, um, there's a few different versions, um, and uh, I'm going to draw out another variation of a reducing valve uh, that maybe is, um, I guess, better indicates what's happening. So this is supplied with city water pressure, and it's going to drop down the pressure to my heating system pressure. Okay, so um, maybe what I'll do is I'll start with a diaphragm valve. So I'm going to put this guy into place. And I'm going to uh, just increase him in size. Okay, um, and once again, I'm going to go and use my line tool, and I'm going to modify this drawing for this symbol. So um, what I'll do is I'll pull off of the top, and I'm going to go straight across create a line and then I'm going to draw a line from here to here and that indicates to me that I have a control valve that is reading the line pressure downstream of the valve and will adjust the valve position. Um, so once again once I've created that just so that it all stays together I want to make sure I go and group it. Okay, and so now I have a symbol that uh, I could move around um, inside of my diagram and it's going to stay together. Um, and I think that does a, maybe a better job of representing the, the, the pressure reducing function. Okay, um, we also had some automatic air vents and there weren't really too many good uh, symbols for vents. Like if I was to check here, um, and even search the whole library. Um, 
I really don't have any um, symbols. I can search for air and uh, we'll see if we got anything. Um, you know, the sort of odds and ends of stuff, I guess an air bleed maybe, I don't know which maybe we would use. So I think in this case, if we don't really have a good symbol for this object, what we're gonna do is just create a symbol that's somewhat representative of either the internal function or the shape. Um, and maybe the best thing we could do is go back to our pointer tool, or sorry, our drawing tools, and we'll draw a little rectangle. Um, and maybe even draw another little even smaller rectangle to the geometry sure like that okay um so we'll go to our pointer tool and we're going to select and remember to group our new symbol together and um, a couple things we want to do for sure because this is a custom symbol we want to make sure that we've identified it so um, we may um, go select some text and um, we call it an auto air vent and we can position that. Um, we also would connect it to our line, so we do want to have a little piping connection probably there, um, which looks good. So we've got our connection and um, we have our auto air vent. Okay, so some of the limitations on Visio is that your library doesn't give you everything you need. So if you don't find what you need, you can always edit your shapes and create new shapes to represent your process a little bit better. Always the warning, if you've custom created a shape and it's not a standard shape from our library, make sure that you've included it in your legend or right on the screen uh, or on the page to indicate what is that symbol so that the reader isn't confused. You may know what it means, but somebody else may not. And you don't want anybody to misinterpret what you're saying in your drawing. 